Hello, um, good morning. Yeah, so um, this tutorial will be teaching you guys how to mock up items in Figma, right? So there are three ways to go about it. You're either using a plugin, um, you're using um, some of the free resources on the Figma community, or you're importing resources, right? Importing in the sense that you're probably downloading from IS graphics, or you're just downloading external resources and importing into Figma. All right, so let's start probably the easiest way using the plugin, right? So um, the plugin I'm usually using when I'm mocking up items is the AdBot Studio, right? AdBot Studio mockup. So um, how it works is this: um, first you have to install the plugin. So you go to your dashboard, search for AdBot, AdBot, right? So naturally, you're under files as default, so you have to switch to plugins, then click on install to install your plugin, right? When you've installed your plugin, you right click, click on plugins, then add mockup items. Ideally, you'll be prompted with the screen to add your API key, right? They would ask you to add the API key. So adding the API key is pretty easy, right? So you just Google AdBot Studio, right? Click on this, get started for free. Right, get started. Just quickly create an account, then go to integrations and plugins. Right, then click on settings to reveal um, your API key. Right, you'll be, you'll be shown an API key. Control C the key, copy, come back to Figma and Control V on that model. Right, what I'm saying right now may not make sense, but when you launch this plugin, you're going to see a mode that shows input API key, right? So just go over to the website, create an account, copy your API key, come back, come over to Figma and paste that API key, right? It may look a little bit stressful, but in the long run, it's going to be actually um, beneficial to you. All right, so now you have a lot, a lot of mock-up items, right? A lot, right? So I just want to see the free items, okay? So now I get, I get to search, or I can just click on whichever I like. So let me click on this. I've never used that mock-up. And I find 11 screen. That's just a screen. I do not need the screen. I need the phone itself. All right, so let's use this. Okay, and I find 12 Pro. Okay, so yeah. So when you click on the mock-up items, you're usually presented with two to three screens, depending on the kind of mock-up you're clicking. So first you have your, um, your mock-up itself, the item. We are not making changes to this, right? So you are not touching this, you are not editing this. You can even go as far as locking this so you don't mistakenly tamper with the property, right? So this is what you'll be making changes to. Whatever changes you make here would reflect on this screen. It looks like magic, right? So let's create a button. Let's just create random shapes inside this. Drag, right? Let's do something like this. Right, so distribute. All right, so now when I'm done making changes to this, my frame, I click on the frame and I render selected frame. Now it's showing here. So probably you have a UI you've designed somewhere, right? Or you have to just drag your UI into this, select this frame and render. Okay, so let's use an example here. Hold Alt to duplicate, K to scale down to fit into the size. Then just align it, right? So select the frame, render selected item. And voila, we have this. Okay, so basically that's how you mock up items in Adboard Studio. Uh, let me quickly show you guys um, a mock up item that has three screens, right? So remember, we're not making changes to this mock up item. You can as well lock it, right? So now you have two other properties. You can change um, the foam body color, right? So let's make that say a light green. Okay, so let's render that frame. We can change the frame body color, which we just did. We can also mock up our screen itself, right? So let's drag that in, select screen, and render selected frame. Now you have this, right? So you can go as far as saying, ah, this is green, I don't like it much. Let's make it lighter, then render. 
after each change you have to render right so if i'm scaling um probably scaling this up right mainly i'm done i have to render so that changes the change reflect in mock-up all right that's one way to do it that's way number one way number two is going to the figma community right Figma community and searching for mock-up so you can see search result i did earlier so just search for mock-up right so you get a whole lot of fancy mock-up um let me look for something i really like uh this guy looks good click on it okay for you to make changes to this you have to duplicate right so i click on duplicates okay nice duplicated sweet so um the way this work is similar to the adboard studio you have a frame where you can paste your design you don't make changes to this right you don't tamper with this so let's say i want to change the design for this frame all i have to do is come back to this screen copy this ui okay then let's paste it in here country v to paste right now it's so small it's not even showing it's not even showing so let's scale it up k to scale scale it up scale all right it looks good how to use install mockup plugin paste your design here change this frame ah this is too long they even have a plugin for this i thought this was like the usual one okay it's too long i do not want to have to install a plugin which was the whole point of coming here so let's go back and look for a different mockup item so something like this right so let's duplicate this all right so there's no point coming to the community if i also have to install a plugin i just want to have to paste my design so ctrl v right so look for the screen frame you can paste into right so right now to paste into this guy the white so i just scale down to fit and drag in so the moment I drag in, it starts showing on all screens, right? So let's scale down and adjust. And we have this, right? See it showing on all screens. Showing on all screens. Looks good. Yeah, so that's way number two. Then there's way number three, importing um, external mockups, right? So I went to Dribble and I found this very cool um, 3d mockup item right it's free um, I'll, add the, I'll add this link to the description so you can easily download this so when you download as a zip file okay download extract this content of the zip file then you come here right come to recent what you want to do right now is you want to import this 3d mockup item right so i already have one here so i'll delete okay so click yeah close so i click on import button right this is my extracted file so i'll select 3d iphone mockup 12 okay and import okay yeah imported so double click to open all right so now we have this right so i really love this uh, mock-up item in the sense that you can make changes to all the properties right so whoever created this was so smart that he used masking for each of these uh, image property so you get to make changes to everything you can change the color of the sleeve you can change the color of the hand you can change the color of the phone and obviously you can change the screen inside right so if i wanted to change the color of the hand all i have to do is come to hand right click on color and probably give it a darker color right if i need to change the color of the sleeve i come here and see it was probably wearing a bluish sleeve something like blue right if i needed to change the color of the phone same thing change the color of the phone casing and I can just drag to see this. Looks cool. And obviously I can change the design inside. Just Ctrl V, paste whatever UI I have. Or 
obviously you'd want to scale it. So using scale, scale to scale, I'll just drag this out, right? And to whatever alignment I need to do to make sure it looks good inside. Right, something like this. Right. There's there's a logo showing at, at the back, so I'll turn it off. I don't need that to show. Right, so I can just adjust this to I get what I like. And I'm done. All I have to do now is just export this as an image and paste on my site. All right. You can also use this for designing a landing page. I was trying to mock up something to show you guys. So I quickly designed the hero section of the landing page, which was this. Yeah, so that's all. Uh, that's the three main ways I know on how to mock up items in Figma. Right. So if you need more resources, right, for mockups, you can easily come to IS graphics. Is it IS or LS? I don't know if I'm pronouncing this thing wrongly. Oh, it's LS actually. Wow. So that was the capital letter I. Yeah, so you can come to IS, <laughs> can come to LS graphics and you get to see a lot of free mock-up items, right? Um, there are a lot of Figma templates really. Okay, so you have paid, these are currently paid items. Right. I think there should be a way to see, yeah, freebies, so view of freebies. Okay, yeah. So look for whatever you want. All right, look for whatever you want. Click on it. All right. Pay attention to this. You do want to make sure it's editable in Figma, right? Or Sketch. Figma accepts both Sketch and Figma format. If it doesn't have Figma or Sketch and it's just Photoshop, which is PSD, you may not want to download that if you do not know how to use Photoshop, right? So you want to pay attention to the kind of tools um, your mockup is supporting. All right, I think that's all on how to mock up items. I'll see you guys in the next class.